Hi. So, we were playing Pac-Man, and we wanted to play Super Pac-Man. But it wouldn't let us because it said play Pac-Man twice, and then you'll unlock Super Pac-Man. So, we're still trying to see what happens. Um, you press RB, the right bumper, to insert the coin we've discovered. You can do it for two people, but I'm not going to. And you press the three lines button to start the game. And you hightail it out of there when they start following you. <laughs> <laughs> you, ooh. Okay. Um, you probably saw those cherries. You want to try to get the cherries because if you don't, I mean, you don't have to, but they're a nice bonus. Why didn't I see that? <laughs> <laughs> and you do have to get all of the little of course okay let's see what happens X for menu turn to arcade yes Played, that says played, oh, played one times, and I got a score of 2,540. And played two times, and got a new record of a score of 3,630. Okay. Um, played Pac-Man two times. Get a score of 5,000, 10,000, and 20,000. That'll come in time. Super Pac-Man. You can now play Super Pac-Man. Okay. I don't know what Super Pac-Man is. I just decided we wanted to play it. Oh, achievement. Okay, let's see what that achievement is. Um, I'm hoping you guys can see it too. That's not helping. Okay, so it just says I launched Pac-Man for the first time. That didn't make a whole lot of sense. Where am I? <laughs> what am I trying to do? Get the keys? Yeah, apparently. Oh, cool! Why did I do that? That was so stupid. Oh, cool. I don't know what I'm doing. But I was doing good for a while there. So I'm guessing it's called Super Pac-Man because you get, like, really, really huge. Oh, 
Okay, I don't like the controls on Pac-Man. You know, from, um, from original to this. I really don't like it. Okay, so that is gonna be our video. Um... Um, okay, so, so last video I announced that, well, I didn't say November 10th, but, okay, so I'm recording this on November 10th, and it's my daughter's birthday. <laughs> so, I'm really happy about that. I'm really happy that we were able to get her present, and... And, uh, what the heck? Oh, okay. Anyway, I was really, uh, I'm really happy that we're able to get our present, and, uh, you can spend coins on the vending machine to purchase decorations. The product lineup increases when you clear missions in each game and change, and changes with each day. Okay. Box. You can listen to the music from the various games and other Pac-Man related music with the jukebox. If you leave the screen while the music is playing, it'll keep playing and become the arcade's BGM. What's BGM? Well, we don't have anything unlocked, so I haven't played it very much. Um, so, uh, Pac-Man, Super Pac-Man, I need to quit doing that. Uh, pause saving is not supported. That's a game, isn't it? Well, anyway... Oh, Pack Attack. That's what that is. Pac Man Battle Royale. Uh, oops. No. Pac Mania. Pac Man Battle Royale. Uh, Pac Man Arrangement? <coughs> Pac Land? Showing Pac Pal. Oh, okay. Showing Pac Pal. I played Pac Land two times. Um, Gashapun? What is that? You spend coins on the Gashapun to get random figures. You can freely decorate the arcade with figures in menu, cu customize, check out the figures you can get through Gashapun in the figure list. Huh? Oh, I guess you're supposed to get those little guys. No sense to me. Um. Okay. So, um. To me, like I said, I'm really excited about it being my daughter's birthday, even though we can't spend time with her. Yeah. You know, it's still really awesome. And uh, unfortunately. 
she has to work today. But we did give her, uh, you know, we did give her a present. We got her a sketch pad and a thing to hold pens or pencils or color pencils, gel pens, you know, whatever. Um, maybe even Sharpies. <laughs> you know, whatever she uses. Um, and then, um, and a, and a, um, a Harry Potter cauldron mug. Um, I don't know if she's still into Harry Potter. It might have been better to get her a Batman one. I don't know. But, like, I guess we got her the, the Harry Potter one. Um, for her birthday, so maybe we'll get her the Batman one for Christmas. I don't know. We haven't thought of Christmas that much yet. Um, so, um, in, uh, please buy my books on Amazon. Um, uh, I know, Amazon kind of scary. It is the internet and all that, but you do not have to use your bank card or your credit card. You can always go to a place like Walgreens or Office Depot and get a Amazon card. Unfortunately, you will not find them at Walmart because they think of them as competition. Um, I secretly think that one of these days there will literally be Walmart and Amazon. Um, I'm hoping I'm wrong, but, you know, possibly one of these days, they're going to be it. <laughs> um, you know, scary thought. Sorry I brought it up. Anyway. Um. Um. I <laughs> anyway. Um. Uh, Christmas is coming up, and I'm a little worried that some people are going to have the holiday blues. And I hope that you do not get the holiday blues at all. I hope it's a fun time for you, and, you know, that you're really looking forward to opening presents on Christmas. Um, or, or whatever you do for Hanukkah and the other holidays. Uh, me, I do Christmas, you know, we, we have a very nice fake tree. My, my dad bought it years ago, and when he was about to get rid of it, I'm like, I want it. And they're like, you want it? I'm like, yeah. Because it's one of those fake trees that actually looks real when you put it together. It looks so nice. And I don't have to worry about the pine needles poking me like on a real tree. Um, besides the fact that I'm not entirely sure that cats aren't allergic to pine needles. Every single year, some, you know, there's some pine needles that disappear off the tree because one of our cats thinks that they're fun to eat, but since it's a plastic tree, I don't think it's very good. We try to stop him, but, you know, can't be there every single second, so, but we try. Um, anyway, anyway, I just want to let you know that it's okay. You are important, you matter, you're beautiful in your own way. And, you know, it'll be okay. There's no problem you cannot solve or handle. You can work in school. And, and, okay, there is no shame in running low on money. Boy, I mean, not but, but just doesn't sound right. Um, you know, there's no, there's, there's no shame of running low on money. And there are places like Walmart that have an angel tree. I don't know if that's 
their buzzword for it, but, you know, it's an angel tree where you go and put your child's name on the tree. Um, you know, you go, you go up to customer service and you get the, the, um, piece of paper to fill out. And it, it doesn't, you know, you don't have to put the name. You, you put whether it's a boy or a girl and you put the age and then you put what they want for Christmas. And there is really no shame in that, especially now after the pandemic, you know, people are just running low on money. It's okay. I mean, we've been there to where we haven't even been able to send our kids Christmas presents or birthday presents. And, you know, it feels bad at the time, but, you know, like I said, you can, you can go to a place like Walmart, and, and Walmart is not paying me to, to say this. It's just the only place that I know that's doing the angel tree at the moment. I don't get out to a whole lot of stores, and I'm pretty sure Costco's not going to be doing it. So, you know, th those are pretty much the two stores I go to. There aren't restaurants. <laughs> yeah. So, um... And, you know, and churches might be doing something like that. I don't know. They might be. Um, oh, and I'm, I'm putting it out there right now. Even if it's just like five cents, please donate to the Salvation Army because that money goes to helping out needy families. And, and well, I know in California anyway, if you got the the highest, uh, you know, the highest amount in your bucket, you got a turkey to take home for Christmas. And, you know, most of them are volunteers. Some of them, you know, get paid by, uh, places like Manpower and, and, um, I can't think of the other one. Oh, um, there's Express Personal Services, Labor Ready, and I, I don't know all the names, but those are the ones I remember at the moment. Um, you know, some of them get paid, but, but a lot of them, they're just donating their time, and you gotta think that some of them, you know, you don't have to worry about in Southern California that much, but, like, some of them are here in Nevada, and it's snowing outside. And there was, like, one year there was, like, these big, ginormous flakes of snow. And one of the guys that shops at Walmart a lot, he lost his leg in the war or something. So he's got a metal leg. You know, he, he can walk around. But he either rings the bell every year or he did ring the bell every year not sure which and the one year they wouldn't let him go inside and it was snowing and there was no awning on the grocery store that he was at and I felt so bad it's like if the store would have had coffee or cocoa or something like that I would have brought him out a cup I probably didn't even think about it at the time, but I don't think it does. Yeah, you know, because like some stores they have, you know, the Starbucks on the inside or the hub. Um, I think it's Pete's Coffee. I don't know. It's Pete's something. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, or or there's another grocery store that has just a generic one. I don't think it actually had a name. Um, but anyway, so, so I'm hoping that you'll be okay for the holiday season. I mean, you'll be seeing this in, well, you'll be seeing this, uh, about three days before Christmas. 
um, I, I'm pretty much feeling like I would really love to talk to somebody right now. I'm kind of, you know, like, a lot of the times I'm people claustrophobic because I'm at home all the time, you know, I'm, I'm not out there with people a lot. I'm home with our cats. So, like, right now, I really want to talk to somebody, but then, like, if I went out to go to Walmart and you know, just to walk around, see what I want to get our kids for Christmas, I'd probably be like, ooh, that person's too close. That happened yesterday, so just thought I'd mention it. <laughs> but, you know, try not to let it get to you. Like, if you have to walk around with your headphones, you know, around, around your neck, you know, loud enough so you can hear it, but not loud enough that you get kicked out of the store because, you know, you're not supposed to have your music, you're supposed to have their music, you know. Some stores get like that. I don't, I don't know if Walmart still gets like that or not, but... But, uh, they did, they did it one time, and then there was this person that... I don't know what they were playing the music off of, but they had this big old speaker on a rolling cart thing and they literally went around the store and I think I had Christmas music on it and there was another person that had a really neat uh, wheelchair it, it was an electric wheelchair and it had an a awning on it so he didn't get sunburned and he was listening to music. This might have been this might have been Christmas too, but it also might have been you know like um, Ian Crosby and and uh, who's that other guy? I can't think of his name. Anyway, you know the older singers. Um, I can't think of that it is a crooner and, and he used to he, he used to sing with Jerry Lewis uh, I think he played uh, he sings Hey Mambo but I don't remember um, She's on White Christmas. Oh, Ro Rosemary Clooney. Rosemary Clooney definitely played, uh, definitely sang Hey Mambo. You know, the Hey Mambo, Mambo Tally, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I, I don't know the rest of the words, but. <laughs> anyway, it was all Married to the Mob, if you want to know what the heck I was talking about. <laughs> it's the very first song in the, in the show. Uh, so... I will finally let you go, and I'll see you in the next video.